Good morning everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Hey guys. All right. Uh, I've been posting a few videos on this newly restored VR 7500 color machine. And it got a, I just wanted to give a lot of thanks to the people who's been helping me along with this project. Just in case I don't always get the time to do that. But anyways, I'd like to thank uh, Ward, especially Ward. He's been a hum humongous huge big help with fixing these machines especially for the parts I want to point out to Ward uh, it's been everything that I've gotten off him so far has been very very useful but anyways we did get this machine restored you guys already know that uh, I showed you a video yesterday um, and the playback is just really it's just insane this machine has got some great 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 playback Anyways, as I spoke, when you're repairing these machines, these VR 7500s, and especially these, a lot of these Type A machines that take a lot of parts, but it takes a lot of configuration. You have to have the tools to set up the tensions because there's a lot of tension on your take take up reel to your playback reel. You want to make sure you got the right tension so you can get the right tension around the drum. So if you do have sticky tape, the tape ain't gonna stick into the machine. But you do need to bake and clean these tapes. Uh, it's very, very important you bake and clean these tapes, especially the Type A's. They are very, very sticky tapes, and not really, um, not really a good playback on these guys. You get a lot of jump, jumping around, tracking uh, issues because the tapes are very dirty, and they got to be baked, they got to be cleaned to get rid of the stickiness that's built up inside the tapes itself. They have to be baked. Anyways, we're getting great playback on this test tape. Uh, we did get the uh, the video signal on this thing. It's just really, really good. Uh, I want to point out something about parts so you guys might get a good idea why it's so important to have an awful lot of parts for these machines when you, re when you do a complete restoration like this. I'm going to show you one repair I did, and I have to thank Ward because he happened to have a bunch of these in a that he gave me with parts the other day and I really did need one all right these are what you call your drag band these are bands uh, for your take up reel on this side it keeps the right tension when you turn your tension wheel and it keeps the right drag on the spindle as it's dragging through the machine with the right tension so you you know like I said you have to set the spring you got to set it with the a tension gauge it's, uh, I have in the garage for setting the tension on this but there's a tension you got to set and but it I realized that the drag band was wore out that was on here as you can see this one's very very thin majority of it's all wore off uh, this is the original drag band that was on this I took it off yesterday because I quite wasn't getting the tension that I wanted and Thank you, Ward, for having a complete uh, brand new uh, set of these out of the service uh, center that you gave me the other day. So we replaced this band with a brand new one. So then I was able to actually set the tension with the gauge that I do have for these machines. And for the pulley, you, you can set the spring by setting the tension by the spec of the service manual, which I did. And now we're getting a lot more more high quality drag on the tape as it gets further and further into the tape like because sometimes on these machines if they're not set up right you'll get about halfway on the tape then you start getting tracking issues and you'll start getting glitches where it's rolling you know the video starting to roll and it's not stabilizing that's usually has to do with the drag band on these that that's a that's a main cause on, on, on these particular machines these bands do wear out it's just felt it's a heavy-duty felt that's glued to this to this metal plate type of strap and when the felt really wears out you lose your tension and your control so um, yeah it is very very important that you do uh, you do uh, uh, you do set up your, your drag band on these especially replacing it with new ones if you have them and I want to thank Ward because he happened to have a brand new one and this was really really sweet had a brand new pack with new ones in it, so I was able to change the drag band, drag band out on this thing. There's stuff underneath this, this cover. There's two cards here, the color and an audio card, which I also took a look at. Uh, when you're working on these machines, it takes an awful lot of parts. These things are very old. They've been used a lot back in the 60s. 
Uh, this particular machine was used a lot. At some point, they changed the video head and put a new head on it. Um, but uh, this machine did have a lot of issues, and I was able to correct a lot of that. But um, you can't go wrong when you have parts. Parts are so important for these machines. And the drag bands on these, like I said, it's a very important thing, especially for the stability of the video and the playback. So you get good tension on the playback and um, that type of thing. And all the parts that I picked up from Ward so far, I've, I've used several of them in this machine that are brand new now. The drag band, I, had, I was waiting to see how bad it was. And yeah, it was, it was, it was bad. I'll get like halfway through the tape and it's, the, the video will start to vary in tracking and adjustments and everything else. So when in doubt, swap it out. So we put a brand new one in and that seems to correct the problem. So that's good. These drag bands, like I said, you can you can probably fix them, but this is a very heavy duty type of um, a felt that's glued on here. Uh, most of the felt you find is very flimsy, so making them um, you probably could, but but having new ones here on hand like this was really good. So I was able to change out that drag band and get that tension, get that tension back to where it belongs with the tension alignment. There is a lot of alignments on these. You have to align your spindles. You have to align your belts. Everything, everything in tension alignment does. The alignment does matter. So you, you got to really make sure you get that right. If you don't get that right, the alignment will kind of go, uh, kind of go kind of funky on the machine, and you won't quite get too good of a playback. But, um, but yeah, the alignment on these things is very, very important. So, like I said, guys, we did replace the alignment and the, uh, the, tension, the tension band on this. And um, so it does matter if you have the parts on hand. I want to thank Ward for all the parts that he's given me. This is just amazing. All the parts on these do come in handy, especially when you need them. And I just happen to need a new drag band. And sure enough, we happen to have a pack of, of three of them that he had and that bunch of parts that he gave me the other day. And uh, so now we got this machine really working good. I'm just doing a lot of testing today and making sure the alignments are right, making sure switching various different tapes to make sure I get the right configuration. So i like to thank Ward for all the help he's been giving me on parts on this machine. And like I said, Obsolete Video Services is here to save history. This is what we do. All right. This is what we do. This is what we specialize in. So if you have videotapes like this they're type a if they're in you know if you've got movies or anything television movie horror host baseball games basketball games anything vintage that's on these type a tapes let me know and we'd be able to give you guys some really really good quality out of them and great files so i hope you guys enjoyed this video